Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for watching today's video and making some time for it, much appreciated. And got a good video guys today. I'm gonna really been looking forward to doing this. We're gonna be talking about what I, what not that I know, or what I think, what I know is the 10 least popular bass fishing topics that come up on YouTube videos because I posted these, I watch other YouTubers post them and they don't hardly get any views and it is freaking messed up because these are some of the most important topics that I think people need to be watching the videos on to get better at bass fishing and for some reason people don't watch them. So we're gonna go over what the top 10 are here and I'm gonna give you guys my uh, some theory and some comments on that. So, hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to remind you, we are starting our fall lake map breakdowns of Fish the Moment. Um, got our fall maps up uh, on the website for sale if you guys are interested in finding getting prepared for this fall fishing, want a bunch of good spots to go to, GPS locations, tips and advice to fish them, um, just swing by fishthemoment.com and I'll put the link in the description here for the lake map breakdown section. And that's uh, gonna be really some really good info, get you guys some good spots right off the bat there. Much appreciated. Okay guys, I've written down a list here. I, I've sort of analyzed this because here's what you, YouTubers do. I mean, bass, all YouTubers, we, we pay attention to the videos and to how many people watch them and how many don't, because that gives us a good idea about what people want to see. And um, I have, and one of the things about this, I've tried to sort of force feed you guys some of these video to ideas that I really know will help you become better anglers. And I just can't get people to watch them. And um, I, for whatever reason, so I'm gonna go over the top 10 here, what um, I think they are. You guys may hear some thunder out there. We got a thunderstorm on the way in here. But anyway, in no particular order, I'm gonna go through the top 10 and talk about them a little bit. Number one is bass behavior videos. Guys, if I do a video on bass behavior, it, it just tanks. Nobody watches the thing, except the really hardcore fishermen that understand how important it is. If you're gonna get better at fishing, guys, you have to be a student of the fish and you have to learn and you have to constantly be trying to search out more information about their habits and their behaviors because that's how you locate fish quickly. So if you get a video up there that talks about bass fishing behaviors, do not ignore it. Just, it's, a good, it's really good for you to watch that. Number two is sort of tied along with that a little bit. It's seasonal patterns of bass. Again, it goes back to the whole thing about learning as much as you can about the bass as possible. <clears throat> and what happens with the bass is, based upon the part of the country you're in, there's different seasonal patterns that take effect at different times of the year, usually based upon the daylight hours and the water temperatures and that type of stuff. And having an understanding of seasonal patterns will really help you pattern the fish a lot more. And it gives you a good starting point, a good foundation to know what techniques and areas to get into. So seasonal patterns is really important. Next is the mental game. Guys, anytime I talk about the mental aspect of fishing, it's I might as well be talking to a tree stump out there because nobody watches it. And I'm here to tell you right now, a huge amount of bass fishing success is the, the mental aspect of it, as in with any sport out there. And it's sort of an abstract thing. I know maybe that's why a lot of people don't watch it is because it requires some effort and work to, to, uh, to really incorporate that into your fishing. But make no mistake about it, guys, your attitude and the, your mental outlook and your, uh, your skills of your visualization and your passion and desire all combined with, with the physical techniques of fishing play a huge role in it. So uh, mental game videos are very important. Next one is hooks. Guys, anytime I do a video about treble hooks or worm hooks or something, I can't hardly get anybody to watch it. And this is... These terminal tackle elements like hooks and weights and you know split rings and that type of stuff, they are all fundamental to bass fishing. And when, he, when you're understanding, when you see a video about hooks, you gotta realize that hooks play a huge role, not only in hooking and landing fish, but getting the strikes. And hooks are a complicated subject. There's a lot of variables to them, guys, so I'd encourage everybody to watch the hook videos. The next one is crankbaits. For whatever reason, you dudes out there do not want to hear about crankbaits in YouTube videos. I don't understand it. Crankbaits are one of the top bass catching lures out there. There's a lot of different types of crankbaits. There's a lot of different sizes and profiles. They're all designed to do something else. You will never become a good angler unless you incorporate and become a master at fishing crankbaits, unless you're just a one of those dudes that do nothing but weenie worm with a live scope all the time. If you fish for bass in the normal way, 
you've got to learn about crankbaits. So I'm, I'm really not sure. I don't really understand that because crankbaits are fun to fish. Um, I, but for whatever reason, not many people watch them. Next one, guys, is environmental topics. Um, if I do an environmental video, most of the time, I just get a bunch of flack for it because um, people try to turn environmental issues into political issues, which they're not. That's absolutely ridiculous. Environmental issues are completely tied to bass fishing or hunting if you guys like to hunt. If you like to fish and you love to, if you love to fish or love to hunt and love the outdoors, you better be involved and interested in environmental issues because they directly impact the sustainability and the future of what you love to do. But again, nobody watches them. Um, um, affect the okay. Next one is big swim baits, guys. Big swim baits is another element out there. Big swim baits and glide baits is another thing. Um, when I do videos on big swim baits and big glide baits, not much interest in them. And I can sort of understand this a little bit because that is such a specialty technique that maybe a lot of people don't feel they can use it in their part of the country. But I don't know any part of the country where under the right situations, throwing a big swim bait or glide bait is not gonna get you a big bite. So um, definitely pay attention to those if you see it. Um, next one is summer fishing. Guys, for whatever reason, um, when I do videos on summer fishing, it's like not many people are interested in it. There must not, maybe summer is like the least time of year that people fish because one of the things I've noticed like on my YouTube analytics is during the summer, everything drops off. The views drop off, the, uh, the, the comments, everything like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe people just are not that enthusiastic about summer fishing, but a lot of guys will not watch summer fishing. And um, last one, guys, we're talking about is any type of a self-improvement issue. Um, guys, self-improvement videos are sort of like the seasonal patterns and the mental aspect of it. It's like people just don't want to hear it. This is another thing that can really improve your fishing. When I'm talking about self-improvement, I'm talking about things that you can do within your control uh, that will allow you to become a better angler. Different ways, maybe taking care of yourself, taking care of your body. All that type of stuff has a huge impact in fishing and uh, your your overall success that you have in it. So um, I'd pay attention to those. But anyway, guys, those for whatever reason, you guys will not watch those videos. Um, I encourage other YouTubers just to stop doing videos on them because not many people want to watch them. But overall, guys, they are some of the most important ones. If I had to rank, as, as far as if somebody said to me, Randy, Tell, I've only got a certain amount of time to watch YouTube videos. Can you sort of give me some information that will make me a better fisherman? The, I know that, see, f three or three, four, four of the ones on my list here would be my top four. That would be bass behavior, seasonal patterns, mental game, and self-improvement. Those would be my top four suggestions that those are the videos you need to watch, and they are in the bottom of the tank as far as what actually gets watched. So. I think a lot of it has to do, it just goes back, people would rather be, you know, entertained than educated. And look at, for example, look at, like I said, I used the example of the Kardashians. The Kardashians have been on TV for 20 years. They got tons of people that watch them. It's absolutely the most mindless, uh, you know, waste of time that you could ever use to watch because there's nothing on there. There's nothing on there that does any benefit for you becoming a, an improved human being. Then if you, you know, compare it to something like a Neil, Ta Neil Tyson deGrasse is the universe or some type of science channel that you can really learn and educate yourself a lot. Nobody watches those. So it's sort of just maybe part of human nature. Like I said, we like to be uh, educated over entertained a little bit. So anyway, just wanted to pass that along. Hope you guys are doing well. Talk later.